Excited about Airsoft? Hit the like button and comment to join other Airsofters in the conversation. Guys, I've made it out of the compound. I'm gonna need a hot extract. Negative on that extract, Agent. You're going to have to fight your way out. Your enemy is heavily armed. Good luck. Open the case. this thing? Nicely done, Agent. It's all yours, as long as you bring the case. What's up, Airsofters? There are few rifles as instantly recognizable as the SCAR, but you'd be forgiven for not immediately knowing exactly what this one is, because while it maintains a lot of its heritage, it takes some rather noticeable departures as well. This is the all-new Cybergun FN Herstal licensed FN SCAR SC. The SC in the name stands for super cool. I'm kidding, sorry. It stands for subcompact carbine. Specifically designed for mobility and flexibility, the FN SCAR SC builds on the FN SCAR heritage with an extremely compact design that's ideal for special response teams in SWAT and by proxy in airsoft, perfect for CQB tight quarters engagements. Like its bigger siblings, this still has that classic monolithic aluminum upper receiver and polymer lower with ambidextrous controls, an enlarged trigger guard, and plenty of Picatinny rails for all of your attachment needs. All of the great features of the existing SCAR platform, minus the hotly debated UGG boot. The UGG boot's the stock. Also, like its bigger siblings, the SC features a reversible charging handle. Unlike the scars before it though, this one, in real life, features a non-reciprocating angled charging handle. Oh, and a very cool, stubby, telescoping PDW style stock. And, well, the bottom line is, if you like the scar, you're gonna love this. When you pick up your SCAR SC, it comes in this really cool carrying case. It's kind of a blow mold polycarbonate construction. It's got two latches on the front, as well as an ability to lock. Once we open the latches, we can flip open the cover to reveal an instruction manual, the included Allen wrench, and a spare spring, as well as the SC held beautifully inside the case. A magazine is included. This one is a mid cap with a metal body. And of course, SCAR SC. But let's get into the nitty gritty features in case you weren't already familiar with a SCAR, and just so you know exactly what you're getting with this latest release from Cybergun. Up front, we have the front. In the back, the back, and in the middle, the center. At the front is a respectable short barrel with 14 millimeter negative threads, to which we've gone ahead and attached a licensed Fur Franz brake and CRD, which I think is really cool and complements the looks of the, the SCAR SC overall. The handguard and receiver are, as we mentioned, monolithic, made out of just one piece of aluminum. There's rails on the three, six, and nine o'clock positions, as well as a truly monolithic rail all the way down the top, to which is mounted an included set of backup iron sights, and we've gone ahead and put one of our EMG RAID red dots up there because it's functional and looks awesome. The lower is all polymer, just like the real thing. The controls are mirrored on both sides, ambidextrous, with a very cool feature, the 45 degree selector lever. I really like this, and I wish we saw more AR style rifles do this. Speaking of AR style rifles, it takes standard M4 or Stanag pattern magazines, which is nice because most airsofters already have a collection of M4 mags, and because they're plentiful in airsoft, they're easy and affordable to get. We went ahead and tested a bunch of different magazines, and here's what we found. The SCAR SC had absolutely zero issues fitting and feeding every single Stanag pattern magazine we threw at it. From mid caps to high caps, metal to polymer, to an Angel Custom Thunderstorm drum mag, the SCAR SC worked flawlessly with them all. The polymer pistol grip on this AEG might not look all that special, that's where you'd be wrong. It's actually a slim motor grip, which is more true to life in shape than a regular AEG motor grip. It's really comfortable. Out back is where things get a little 
funky. You get a very compact PDW style stock, which telescopes closed, sort of like an MP5 J stock. It's certainly different looking. It has three positions, closed, middle, and all the way out. Now back here is also where you'll access the battery compartment. The bad news is you'll need a tool to access it. The good news is there's an included Allen key which does the trick. You put the thing in the thing and voila, the whole stock moves downward and you can see inside the battery compartment where you can gain access to the wires. Speaking of wires, it's wired to Dean's. For the love of Airsoft, finally a SCAR with Dean's out of the box. Now we recommend a slim battery for this AEG since the mock bolt needs to be able to fit around the battery to slide. Now there's limited space in here, so you wanna go as slim as possible and preferably on the shorter side. And that pretty much covers the externals. We'll get into the insides in just a bit, but first, the testing. Our FPS test was performed using both the pre-installed spring and the extra spring included in the box. The pre-installed spring showed an average of just about 360 FPS and about 17 rounds per second on full auto. The extra spring resulted in an FPS measurement of just about 395 and a rate of fire of about 16 rounds per second. Both springs were tested using 0.20 gram BBs and our Matrix 1300 milliamp 11.1 volt LiPo battery. In our distance and accuracy test, this SCAR SC was able to land most shots on our six inch plate and placed a nice tight grouping on our EVIC professional silhouette targets at 50 feet. Out at 100 feet, the grouping opened up a little bit, but it was still able to land 80% of our hits on the body sized silhouette target. For tighter groupings at longer distances, you should go with a full size SCAR. <laughs> I'm kidding. This SCAR SC could certainly benefit from an upgraded inner barrel, hop-up bucking, and nub, all of which are available here at evic.com, and it would utilize the existing length of this platform while giving you tighter grouping at distance. Accessing the internals of the SCAR SC involves a number of screws and some elbow grease. First thing to note is that by removing the back five screws, you can take the stock assembly off and access the quick change spring guide. This allows you to replace the spring and tune the FPS of your SCAR SC without taking the whole thing apart. With the barrel removed, we can take a good look at the proprietary hop-up design, which is held in place by a set screw. Fortunately, the SCAR SC uses a standard AEG barrel and bucking, so upgrades are easy to find. The motor is an Ares slim type motor, which is necessary to fit the slim grip. The motor uses a D-type pinion gear and has plenty of torque for this system. Removing the gearbox gives us our first look at the Ares EFCS system. This system includes a series of switches and sensors that when combined with the Ares EFCS programmer, allow for multiple modes of fire, including semi-auto only and three round burst. Here, we can see the trigger micro switch and the magnetic sensor, which detects the magnet built into the sector gear. Worth noting is that despite being a familiar shape, the gearbox is proprietary as it includes these two holes near the front, which help hold it in place inside the lower receiver. Getting into the compression parts, we can see that the piston is polymer with a full rack of metal teeth. The piston head is polymer with no thrust bearing. The cylinder is ported and directly attached to a unique cylinder head. The cylinder head needs to be shaped this way to accommodate for extra reinforcement at the front of the gearbox shell, which is nice to have. The nozzle is polymer, has an O-ring, and is approximately 21 millimeters long. The gears ride on eight millimeter bushings and an eight millimeter bearing for the bevel gear. The sector gear has a plastic delayer cam and, as previously mentioned, a magnet for the EFCS sensor. If you do want to change things up, just make sure anything you're swapping in is Ares EFCS compatible. The SCAR has been a unique staple in the airsoft world for quite some time, proving a reliable, interesting, varied platform with a lot of great features and interesting looks to boot. Ugg boot, that is. And if you've passed on the SCAR up until now, whether because the stock wasn't your flavor or the length wasn't ideal for the close quarters engagements you typically play in, here's your chance to get something very unique, feature rich, and incredibly compact and wieldable. You can find the Cybergun FN Herstal licensed FN SCAR SC on our website right here at evic.com. Thanks for watching.
Don't miss out on the action. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, check out our TikTok, and join us on Facebook for everything Airsoft.